Here we are with a new Vanquish stance. This is based off the VRD. I'm gonna show it to you real quick and take it out for a drive because it's time to go. And here we go. Now, if you guys missed the unboxing, I wanna show you the body. That thing is nice. Got nice tuck, dovetail, pinch, whatever you wanna call it at both ends. It's not a tall body. It looks awesome. We got the uh, VE1 ESC, basically you have doing 1060, which is actually a pretty well reliable ESC. Got a 35 turn brush motor, VS1 servo. Uh, you got the VXT2 tires on real bead locks. The axles are F10 axles. So you got that, you got the uh, weight right here. So this thing is balanced well. The chassis is aluminum, as well as the carbon is obviously carbon, but um, it's got the same transmission, everything like that, the same shocks. The radio is a four channel radio that's actually pretty darn nice. It has some good features especially for an RTR radio. But with all that being said, it's time to take the four drive. I'm gonna power it up with the 3S, let's go. Okay, let's kick this off with some climbs. 24% overdrive. She can make short work of pretty much everything, just like the carbon. Yeah, the, the control feels pretty good. I think I'm probably going to keep this one as a brush truck as well. Try to keep it simple. Now the overall speed on it, that's, that's perfectly fine. Now that speed with all the gear reduction is what's helping. Ooh, my little fat shadow's in the way. It's actually helping this thing as far as the control with the brush motor. Holy moly. Seriously? Ooh, this thing is nice. Let me try it. Let me try it. Now, these tires do have a two-stage foam in them. Oh, it's going to crawl it. It's going to actually crawl Hopper. If it does not go up, I'll be shocked. There we go. A full crawl up Hopper. That was impressive. All right, let's bring it down fall time. I was kind of worried about these tires being really kind of large, but uh, they're working great. All right, can we get crack of doom here? You get my thumb in proper position. I don't have my thumb thing on here. So let me see if I can make this. Oh, nice pull right there. Let the front drop. All right. I tell you, crack of doom is getting easier with the vehicles that we've got nowadays. Now let's see if it's actually gonna pull it or it's gonna lift the tire out. They got it. That was easy. All right, let me get myself turned. Get the back end to drop, hopefully. Not like that. That was my fault, not the truck. Yeah, truck got it fine. I just kind of got a little too much throttle happy there. Twin ridges. <laughs> it didn't even spin a tire. <laughs> I pulled this line with the carbon just the other day. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if this one can stick it. I think I had to go a little bit more to the other side here. Let, let the front right get onto that. Now my carbon's got a little bit better center of gravity. I've got it set down lower. Looks like I can drop, work on the shocks a little bit, drop everything down on this one. Close. We're gonna try ridge line from a new angle. From like high above in the clouds. Let's just see. Kind of weird way of looking at it. Dudes, that was interesting. Gatekeeper. Oh. Definitely gotta pull the suspension down a little bit on some of these climbs, but uh, <laughs> it's a bad boy. 
<laughs> now this one truly is out of the box. Let's see. Let's check the stability. Tires are hooking up really good. Oh, I slipped down. Oh, man, it, it looked like it was going to go up it, though, didn't it? Ooh, looks good. Oh, there's my first roll. Man, dude, it is right there. This thing gets this. This really will be the very first truly out-of-the-box truck to get Crowley. So... Oh my goodness. Man, it's right there, but that front end just won't settle down. I mean, it is right there. All right, I'm gonna try to go a bit more to the left, to the left here. And try to ride the inside tire over. Yeah, we got it like that pretty quick and easy there. First drive is done, and I gotta tell you, it went almost everywhere. Now, this particular vehicle here, I'm gonna try to adjust the suspension down a little bit on it, kind of get a little bit better center of gravity, but the vehicle itself is awesome. And as you can tell right here, I've already got metal wheels on it. Legit vanquish wheels. Yeah, yeah, legit vanquish. This thing right here can do everything the carbon can. I do need to do like the heavier brass front and back to kind of balance this thing out. And I'm kind of thinking once I do that, I should be able to run this with the carbon, shouldn't I? I mean, the chassis are a little different and all that, but this thing right here has just as much potential as the carbon, and that's kind of unlimited. <laughs> the truck is great. Now, there was an issue on one of the crashes coming back. I did bend one of the rear suspension links, one of the lower ones, the high clearance ones. So if you can find them, Go ahead and beef those up with some larger diameter, stronger ones, like what the Carbon has. Those have held up great, but these right here, they did bend. Granted, once they bent, I was able to just simply pull them back to where they should be. So they're going to continue bending. I've got to find some larger links myself. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. The stance is absolutely awesome. And it's just going to get better because you know we're going to mod this thing up, right? Guys, check that description. I'll link it up down below. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And I want you all to have a wonderful day. Not really sure about food this time, but I did put milk in my eggs the other morning. It worked. Guys, you made it to the end. This is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys making it to the end of the video it means so much to me. Uh, I mean, for real. Consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.